Imhotep, and welcome to Tarot TV. We are going to discuss the third card in the Major Arcana card out of the 22, Isis, who is the High Priestess card in Tarot. Now, this series is designed to go through all of the Kemetic Egyptian gods to show you which ones exist within the card, empowering it, emboldening it. So, the High Priestess Let's talk a little bit about her. Isis's name is Aset in the original Kemetic Egyptian tongue. So whichever name you want to use is fine. It still invokes the power of the goddess. Isis or Aset is the mother goddess of the tarot deck. She is the mother of Horus, also known as Haru, who is the physical embodiment of Ra, the sun god, on earth. Kind of like he's the Jesus. Isis or Aset is considered the mother of medicine. She has the diadem of the moon on her head. Sometimes it's interchangeable with the sun disk of Amun-Ra. She's one of the daughters of Ra, along with his other daughters and sons, who I'm going to discuss as the series commences. Now, Isis, being the, the female magician, she is the high priestess, okay? She learned her magic from the snake goddess called Wajet, when she had to revive her, her, her husband, Osiris, the king and lord of the dead, to conceive their son, Horus, all right? Because of jealousy from his brother, Set, he cut him into 22 pieces. He threw the genitals in the ocean. It was swallowed by crocodiles. And she had to create the Ankh. The Ankh is the cross of life. This religious iconic symbol was followed into Christianity as Aset or Isis assimilated the role of Mary in modern Christianity. Now, I'm not going to talk about Christianity here. Although you see a cross, this is truly an Ankh, which represents the four cardinal directions. It's the combination of male and female genitalia. So Isis was, or Aset, she was a badass, okay? She could revive the dead. She could heal all the other gods. She was gifted the secret name of Amun-Ra which no one had, meaning she could heal even the older gods, like the gods of the sky and of the earth, Nut, Geb, Tefnut. She was able to even heal them. But her miracles included being able to revive the dead. So the first necromancer was actually a female goddess in the Egyptian comedic pantheon. So whenever you see the high priestess in your, in your spread, you know real Real magic is at hand. She's Hecate to the Greeks. She's also Persephone. She's Selena. She's the triple goddess, essentially. She is, aside from Ma'at and Hetheru Hathor, she's got to be one of the most powerful goddesses in creation. Okay? So much so that she was able to gain the secret name of Ra. I mean, none of the gods got that. I think only Sekhmet got it later on before she was back. Set, then she transformed into Sekhmet. That was the awesome power of Ra's energy and might, who he only bestowed on his two daughters, Sekhmet and Isis being the other one, or Aset. So the High Priestess is about personal magic, meditation, spiritual doctrine, the knowledge of medicines and herbs and crystals, uh, Ayurveda, yoga, Shastras. Um, it's about posture. It's about silence. But mostly it's about secrecy, learning how to contain a secret. Because she's all about silent arts, secret arts. She, after all, learned magic from the snakes. Again, the Nagas taught her. Wajet was the queen of all the Nagas. And Wajet was known to the Hindus as Kadru, the daughter of Shiva. She was the snake goddess who also bore Vishnu's serpent Shesha and Shiva's serpent Vasuki. So, Aset learned directly from this snake goddess. So the high priestess can also represent magical incantation. It can represent hexing when it appears in your chart. That's right. Sometimes they also consider her to be the perfect woman card or the perfect embodiment of the female force, aside from the empress and the justice card, who I'm going to discuss later on as the series commences. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned. Watch the highlights because this is a special series that I'm only going to do one time. Thank you so much for listening. For those of you who have been continuing, I appreciate it. And 
For those of you who are new, welcome and stay tuned. Imhotep, peace and love.